What is it they say? Ideas are cheap, but implementation is everything. Nowhere is that more true than user experience design. It's relatively easy to identify ways to improve the experience of users, but making those improvements, making them happen, that's much harder. Take, for example, the most common user experience improvement of all, updating your website. As web professionals, most of us have got a good handle on how we could approve a website. We can design it and we can build it, but that's no guarantee there will be a success. That's because we're only addressing the first level of user experience design because user experience design is a little bit like inception. It goes many levels deep and gets weirder the deeper you go. Level one is the user touch point and most designers focus on this level. That's the touch point between the user and the organization. This might be a mobile app, a website, or a social media channel. In fact, there are a growing number of digital touch points between the customer and the organization, some of which don't involve any interface at all. But designing a touch point is only the start of designing a good user experience. Once we've done that, then we need to delve into level two, organizational structures. Designing a great interface does not always lead to a great user experience. That's because a great interface often requires organizational change, and that rarely happens. For example, designing a user-centric information architecture could become incompatible with business silos. And that means either the organization needs to start working across silos or those silos need replacing. The alternative is that your information architecture will fail. If you want to produce quality content, you know, that is consistent across the site, you may have to centralize things. But the question then arises, do you have the people in place to manage that content centrally? There's a resourcing issue that needs addressing in order to provide that better user experience. Designing the user touch points is useless unless you also address governance, structure, and resourcing. These things are crucial to making your new interface work. And that is our second level of user experience design. But that's not as deep as the rabbit hole goes. There's also a third level, transforming the culture through a program of education. I'm working with a not-for-profit at the moment who gets the importance of building better user experiences. They've grasped the need to improve those touch points and even implemented sweeping organizational changes to support it. Their executive have outlined a new direction and change is happening at a blistering rate across the whole institution. And yet they're still struggling. They're struggling because they've been slow to adopt the third level of user experience design they need to address the cultural challenges through a program of education. A program built around workshops, service manuals, prototypes, testing and collaboration. A program that exposes employees to best practice through newsletters, blog posts, guest speakers and more. You see, many employees don't understand why change is happening and how it's going to impact them and their job personally. They're not on board with the process. They don't understand the value of user experience design and a program of education can help fix that. The truth is that people don't like change. They've been familiar with a way of working and they want to stick with that. Faced with something new that they don't understand, they'll often resist. Even in the face of organizational uh, directives, they'll end up dragging their feet. To improve the user experience, you need to address these kinds of cultural issues. You need to win hearts and minds. And that's where an internal comms campaign becomes crucial. One, to explain the benefits and, um, of user-centric design and to educate employees about best practice and why change is necessary. Everybody from the executive team to each of the individual employees have to believe that user experience matters. If they don't, they're gonna resent any changes that will happen and they'll be slow to implement them. So the question then becomes, where are you in this hierarchy of user experience design? How deep has your organization delved? Are you only making superficial changes to the user experience or are you starting to address 
the cultural and structural changes too. Changes that must happen to create a really good user experience. Now, if you need help with getting into those kinds of deeper issues, get in touch. But whatever you do, make sure you address these deeper issues.